the table. And on the sideline, David Aldridge. We'll see the Cleveland Cavaliers Utah. taking on the Utah Jazz. And despite the fact that LeBron James is now in the league for over two decades, he continues to dominate. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you would expect to miss the mark by that. And pitches the bucket for Markinen. Well, a nice job by Colin Sexton to find the open man. You want to see court awareness from the young gun. And no one near Clarkson is he. Let's it go. Gets it to go from beyond the up. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. It's all about mindset out of the gate. If you're aggressive and they give you room, go ahead. Let it fly. Now here's LeBron. LeBron the 15-footer. Good. Yeah, just as a dangerous area for LeBron James. You get him into that mid-range area, you don't know what he's going to do. It's deflected, and they'll keep possession. Back to Collins. And the call will be against Drew Gooden. That's his first foul. First team foul. Down low. Kessler. Kessler. And he jams it with authority. A big man who does a little bit of everything. Collins' team first attitude shining through with that terrific pass. Now here's LeBron. That's LeBron basket game. number two with his third shot Ascension. off to a fast two for three. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. I'm sure his teammates love having a guy like Collins on the receiving end of those alley-oops. As fun an assist as you'll get. LeBron throws it down hard. LeBron James, ever the showman with an exceptional slam there. One of the best dunkers in the history of the game. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. And here's good. After Jordan Clarkson hitting the three. Here's LeBron. And the call will be against Zadrinus Lodowskis. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. We've seen a quick start here for the Jazz. Six-point game. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. Yeah, but what a tremendous effort, Kevin. I thought they were coming all the way back. Such a terrific fourth quarter of basketball, but they just could not get over the hump. Cavaliers call. LeBron James goes high in the air, and absolutely no doubt about how that's going to end. And now only one away from being in the middle. Collins, that's a two-pointer. Pavlovich with the rebound. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Gibson. That's to Pavlovich. That's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. That's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. And Sexton has it in the corner. That bucket in in no time at all. Sexton will be with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now, here's Collins from the arc. That one's off. He's now one for two. Boy, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Inside, pass to Pavlovich. One twelve left to play in the first quarter. Outside, Gibson. Five on the clock. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Yeah, so terrific job there. Just kind of setting the pace. Exceptional at breaking down the defense with his passing. From deep, Collins. His second miss, now two of four on the game. Here's Parrish out. Epic counts. 
Yeah. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Pass to Collins. Good work there as it goes. Collins has got six. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Marshall gets the bucket. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. And here's Clarkson. Back to Collins. Clarkson outside. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Uh, this guy is more than capable of making that play. Jordan Clarkson confident around the cup. Pass to Popovich. Misses the one-handed jam. And his defense is so valuable. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And from what we've seen from the Jazz so far, what's your take? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy rebound by the Jazz. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Luke's have been no good. Yes, no. Luka Salonich. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. The Cavaliers trail by nine. James outside. Oh, LeBron's LeBron. just too strong inside. Over and over in his career, LeBron James has absorbed contact, and it hasn't mattered. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. That ball is good for another LeBron. field goal. His sixth, he is six for nine on the stat sheet. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They have allowed straight points. Larry and, Hughes. and the second foul called on foul. Larry Hughes. First team That'll foul. be his second foul of the game. Pass to Simonich. Launches a three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Dunn. Simonich has got the lead up to 10 now for the Jams. Now James. A fadeaway. LeBron playing James. like a big man inside. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. Got that one up quick. Tucker's got himself on the board with three there. Yeah, that's two straight three pointers they've allowed. LeBron Let's James. check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Laurie Markkinen has gone from a bit player to a starring role on offense. He says it's something that I have to get adjusted to, but going forward, I have the room and the mentality to be more aggressive. When I watch film, I always see things that can become so much better. I have a long way to go, a lot of room to improve. Kevin? All right, good stuff, D.A., thanks. And there's the call on Jink. That's his first. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. And with this new CBA, great for the first time. Team and league licensing revenue, about $160 million a year, is to be shared with the players. I think that's probably jersey patches and stuff like that. It makes sense that the players should get a share of And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Jazz. The ferocity we have seen from them on defense. I mean, they're looking to contest every shot that goes up. I think the other thing they're doing is they're wearing out the opponent in transition, exploding up the floor for easy chances. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And the dunk by Chase. And making it look easy. On the wing, James. And James throws it to the bottom. And I gotta say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. But, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot. Oh, you got to be kidding. 
This is why you run your offense through LeBron. Great vision, great decision maker. Pass to Yurtsevin. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Foul beyond the arc and he almost hit the shot. Go to the line for three. To give up a foul on a three-point attempt. Chris Dunn, a complete basketball player, dynamite scorer, remarkable passer, and one of the elite defenders. And he nails the third. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. Jazz leading by 11. It's up a three. Buries it from three-point range. Got five points now in the fourth. They're getting their point almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the air. Here's Snow. Six to shoot. The second chance effort. Goes up on the high post. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that. And that one's good, George. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort to date. Terrific ball movement. Oh, and the jam by Marshall. It's a big time physical play. Hard to get in Marshall's way when he's attacking the rim like that. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. That's a good shot, and now he's three for seven. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Pass to Snow. Back to Verizhao. Lays it up and puts it in. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. And so it's the Utah Jazz. With a Going Your Jazz. 45. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Jazz leading by 10. George looking around. From 10 feet out, that one drops for him. Sumanich has got seven points in the game. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. And you're just not going to see him do that very often. Usually when he rises up, there's a guarantee it's going down. You're not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Here's Kessler. And Utah, another three. Three pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Here's LeBron. LeBron fakes LeBron his way through. You call this a groove, folks. Offensively, when shots are falling, you're getting to your spots. LeBron James right now on his personal playground. Back to Clarkson. Nasty move. It's rebounded by Snow. The Cavaliers trail by 13. Here's LeBron. A shot, no good. Excellent D there for Markinen. There's Clarkson. Eight points for him. Got a piece of it. James in the post. LeBron takes it off the glass. James has got 25 points in the game. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. So it's the Cavaliers now. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. And Collins has got the ball here for the Utah Jams. And it's Sexton penetrating. Pass to Kessler. Back to Sexton. Here's Clarkson. 
shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one is on Ogalskis. Jordan Clarkson tends to draw a lot of contact. If you look at his career, he doesn't end up at the free throw line as often as you'd think. Here's Gooden. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Daniel. Gooden's got his first bucket in this one. And Sexton slams it in. Well, Clarkson doesn't do huge assist numbers, but he won't waste a wide open opportunity. Pass to Ogowskis. Outside Gibson. Here's LeBron. Kessler with the rebound. And the edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Clarkson for three. And the Jazz, another three. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. James outside. Puts up a deep three. Utah with the rebound. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Pass to Gooden. To the inside. Stolen by Markkinen. And now Clarkson pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks, Kevin. The Utah Jazz have found themselves a new all-star in Laurie Markkinen. Coach Will Hardy says he's our best player, but we're not making our team about him. We have a lot of really good players. Way to coexist, and that's the great thing about our team. Kevin? Yeah, a quick rebuild. And David Aldridge, thank you for that report. Out of bounds. And it's out of bounds to the Jazz as Utah returns possession. For the Cavaliers. Anderson, Derrishell, Daniel Marshall. We've got 113 left to play in the third. Sexed it on the wing. To the paint. Here's Kessler. Side for Sexton. Just five on the clock. Hits the layup after the sweet Kessler. pump fake to freeze the D. Kessler's got five points Sexton. in the quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always He's reading the situation, He's reacting sure. quickly that and capitalizing. That's his first personal foul. Moves so well towards the rim. When Collins attacks with that kind of ferocity, puts the defense on their heels. That one misses. The Cavaliers trail by 17. And Gibson wide open. He shoots. Drills the three-pointer. Gibson's got five points so far. Craig, their unselfish play has really been impressive. They're trusting one another out there, wanting to get each other involved. This is great basketball. Pass to Marshall. Puts it up. Misses the layup. He had him with that bump pick. Utah leading by 14. It's Collins with the drive. And it's good. Two points. He's got nine. And how about the mobility from the big man? I love when Collins takes charge and goes aggressively to the hoop. Shot from the wing. Here's Verizon. No good. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. 62. The Cavaliers. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. The Cavaliers trail by 16. Here's LeBron. Pass to Verizhal. Releases. Kessler with the rebound. Outside, Sexton. Please and Daniel Gibson gets the whistle that time. Daniel Gibson. That's his first That's foul. His first personal foul. First team foul. Outside, marking it. Clarkson outside. 
Shot clock at five. Driving the lane. Getting it done with both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. And that one, good. LeBron's got 29. But he is so efficient, so productive. But for them to have real success, he needs help. And the foul that called on Larry Hughes. Larry Hughes. And that'll be his third foul third so far. Foul. And Cleveland Second making a change here. Foul. About a minute that play in the fourth quarter. Clarkson missing Milton. again. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Cleveland. They trail by 16. Here's Clarkson. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And a guy who's bounced around the league a bit. Clarkson tightened up his game, and now he is a key factor in what this team does. He's forcing the action now, finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. And Cleveland turns it over again. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. Outside Cowan. Good on the three-point shot. And the Jazz lead by 20. An improving three-point shooter. Collins understands the role of today's big man. And a wide-open look for James. That shot, no good. Clarkson outside. Good D by LeBron. The Cavaliers trail by 20. Jumps up. And there's the call. The Utah Jams. And it's Chicago to start out. Here is Paxson. With the floater. Out of bounds. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for Utah. Inside and Grant sends it back and they get it back. Now the Bulls with it. Outside Jordan. And the rejection by Collins. In transition, here come the Jazz. Clarkson for three. Nothing that time. He's uh, 0 for 2. Boy, that's 0 for 3 in the early going. Just a little out of sync. Here's Jordan. That's to Armstrong. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. Michael. Shot up two there. The yeah, high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. Done with it. Now defended by Grant. Here's Kessler. Picks it out to Markkinen. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Impossible to stop the putback when he's got that kind of position. Agreed, Grant. Let him get his hands on it inside and finish it off. How about the activity level, the effort level? This team right now feeding off his energy. Boy, the offensive flow just isn't there right now. One for five to start the game. Outside Collins. Puts up a deep three. Rebound by the Bulls. Here's Pippen. And it's Pippen with the jam. Don't you wish you could keep like Pippen? I mean, I do. To the paint. And finish off by Collins. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Here's Jordan. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. That's his first first. Yeah, catching the defender there off balance. Jordan with the great strength to convert through contact. Let's see what he can do there at the line. One shot. You throw good, Jordan. Done outside. In the corner, Collins with it. 
And it's done in the corner. Let's a floater go. He hangs in there and cashes in on those second chance points. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Here's Grant. Got it. Good job Four. in the low post. Grant. With the ball around the hoop, Boris Grant, a tough man to stop. There's the double team with Grant. Collins in the post. Two minutes remaining in the first. Clarkson right side. Two minutes. Lock at six. Stolen by Grant. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Right side, Pippen. Short side. Points in the game. Shoots from eight. Count. Short side got seven points. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Here's Collins. Nails the baby hook. And let the big man eat. It's clear that Collins loves getting these kinds of scoring opportunities. Here's Jordan. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. This is his second trip to the free throw line. At the line for the Bulls, Michael Jordan taking two shots. That one is off. Probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that. Absolutely. Jazz trailed by four. And Utah turns it over again. Coming on to the floor for the Bulls. Will Purdue. Now Armstrong. Nothing on the board. Here's Pippen. And he uses the glass on the way. And I like Going up against this guy in this close to range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Well, Clarkson doesn't do huge assist numbers, but he won't waste a wide-open opportunity. Pass to Purdue. Pippen outside. And the last second attempt is not going for And so it's Michael Jordan making things quarter of play. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Chicago. And they've set the tone from the jump. They're looking to pound it inside and score in the paint. They've also and, and great recognition. Collins is the ideal big for a pick and roll. They double in with Jordan. Clarkson for three. There's Markinen. The offensive rebound. Good. No, no, this is what you hope. You want to see Markinen mix it up on the glass, right? Keep the play alive. Make sure you convert. Yes, and count it. The shot. That's good. He'll go to the free throw line. Well, there's some unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Pass to Yurtsevin. And Sexton has it in the corner. Outside for George. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. George has got his first two points. Chicago leading. To the middle. Here's Grant. Misses the layup. He had him with that bump. 
Boy, well, that's one he wishes he could have back, that's especially first against first soft goal. defense. First team foul. That's to Samanich. Here's the three. It's hauled in by the Bulls. All the time in the world to get that one off. Here's Jordan. That's his sixth field goal today. And that makes him now six for 11. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Horton Tucker. The shot's good from Horton Tucker. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Put on the bucket. Pippen's got six points. Not much else the D could do. Sometimes Pippen is going to bury shots right in your face. Here's Simonich. Still yet to score. They get it again. The deep three from George. Four, three. Sinks it. What range from outside? What? Oh, man. What a shot. Get that from another time zone. And the first time out of the Here's Pippen. Here's Cartwright. Makes it off the glass. Bill Cartwright. And the Bulls lead by two. Well, just it's easy to say, this guy wanted it more. Creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. Orton Tucker in the corner. Down low. Good saving. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. That's the latest, David. Thanks very much, guys. Walker Kessler has already made an impact for the Jazz. Now, Bill Hardy says the physical tools that he has allow him to be successful. He's shown so much growth on both ends of the floor. I think defense comes natural to Walker in a lot of ways, but his ability to learn the offense has been tremendous. Kevin? It has another great young player. We enjoy them all. David, thank you. Here's Simonich after the made shot from Scotty Pippen. Sexton's shot is good. Well, Colin Sexton's assertiveness right there with the rise and fire, exactly what his team wants from him. Pass to Hobson. To the inside. Here's Pippen. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's Horton Tucker. Here's Simonich. He has yet to score. Goes in off to a good start, two for two. Well, second showing that he's more than just a jump shooter. Very comfortable on the interior against size. Utah leading. Horton Tucker in the corner. A three-pointer off the mark. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And the Jazz pushing it up now. And Sexton slams it in. This guy is such a dynamic guard with active hands. Sexton makes that defensive play to get them a bucket. Stolen by George. Horton Tucker, that's good. Horton Tucker. Horton Tucker's got the lead up to five now for Utah. And the lead should be safe if they can keep shooting the basketball like this. Here's Pippen. Pippen's got eight here in the quarter. Merciless move by Scotty with the ball completely unbalancing for the defender. Now here's Dunn. Hasn't made one yet. And finish off by Collins. Now that's just a nice pass. This was one of college basketball's premier playmakers. Dunn showing great vision. And the whistle blows as the basket counts and a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. It's it out to Markinen. 
And out of bounds as Chicago gains possession. Bulls trail by three. Takes it inside. Pass to Armstrong. And stolen by Dunn. And now here's Markin in the fast break chance. Here's Collins. Michael Jordan grabs the miss. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Crafty move. That one falls. Jordan. 19 Jordan. points for Jordan. B. J. Armstrong. There are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score. And this is looking like one of those nights. Lowry. Markinen. That one good for two. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten. Coming off the six. Kessler with it. Outside Cowan. Defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Markinen. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Here's Jordan. Michael Jordan. And that one is good. Jordan's got 21. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. At the Dunn. Clarkson outside. Six to shoot. To the middle. Here's Collins. Some solid defense from Pippen. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Back to Jordan. Floats one. Markinen pulls it in. Out left of the wing. The Jazz working the ball around now. Done outside. Here's Clarkson. And he uses both hands to jam it in. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. The Utah Jazz have found themselves a new all-star in Rory Markham. Coach Will Hardy says, he's our best player, but we're not making our team about him. We have a lot of really good players. Everyone is finding a way to coexist, and that's the great thing about our team. Kevin. Yeah, a quick rebuild. And David Aldridge, thank you for that report. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Pick off in midair. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Here's Williams. Count that one. Williams. Williams has got his first bucket in this one. So active in the open throw. Williams wanting to convert in transition. Here's Collins. And he converts the layup. And the Jazz lead by one. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Paxson. Scoreless thus far. The something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams ball. are almost identical. Greg, their unselfish play has really been impressive. They're trusting one another out there, wanting to get each other involved. This is great basketball. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. So it's Utah now. After Chicago, picking up a basket just moments ago. Shots good by Clarkson. 
down for two. Well, very difficult to guard the floater. Jordan Clarkson, nicely done. No good from Paxson. Not a single shot has gone down this period. It is the very definition of ice cold. Stolen by Kessler. Shot by Collins, no good. And here's Paxson. Shoots over Markinen. Off on. And as we finish. Jordan, high post. The epic counts. Jordan. 23 points Assist for Jordan. Team. And that's right Arms in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance, he knows it's winning time. Watson, three. He might not have the long range ability of some other guys, but he will knock down open ones like that. Pass to Armstrong. Now, Jordan. Sweet little floater. Michael Jordan. Jordan's got 10 points in just the second half. Oh, such a field shot there, the floater. Outside, marking it. Top of the key, done. And Utah again with the button. Now, this is the area that Dunn is working on. Wants to be a proficient catch-and-shoot guy. Here's Jordan. Rebound collected by Clarkson. Utah leading by four. Outside, marking it. And it's Dunn in the corner. Back to Markinen. And he gets the bucket. Lowry, Markinen. Uh, Lowry Markinen's frame. A little contact not going to bother him. He powers right through it. Jordan wide open. Five on the clock. Beyond the arc. Jordan can't get that one to fall. Greg, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. Arkanen can't get it to go. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. Good on the three-point shot. And was it really a long-distance shooter in college? Jordan really works on his range ever since being drafted. his first personal foul. Yeah, clearly he the had an established ball. position there. Coming on to the floor for the From the inbound. And Clarkson with the layup. And the Jazz lead by five. How about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Yeah, putting the team on his back as he often does. The tighter the game gets, the more Jordan wants the ball. Here's Kessler after the made shot from Michael Jordan. Back to Kessler. Walker. That's in, coming off an assist from Dunn. Guys, during that last break, I heard Phil Jackson as he talked with the team. Now, he talked about keeping confidence. He said, this game is close, but we know we're the better team. Now it's time to go out there and prove it. See if they can come back in this one, guys. Yeah. Thank you, David. Marking in good. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for Utah? Michael, Jordan. Well, they made a point to protect the rim, challenging shots all game long, and the block total is off the charts. What about the defensive intensity they've had in this one? Jumping, passing lanes, poking the ball away, just doing a great job creating chaos. And they get it back. Jazz passing it around. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Pass to Jordan. One oh four left to play in the final quarter. Outside for fifth. Back to Jordan.
pressure doesn't get to Collins. Baskets like that prove how locked in he is. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Here's Clarkson. Kicks it out to Collins. Carries it from three-point range. This is the John Collins show. There's a smoothness to his game that you really appreciate on a night like this. You know, two things happen. Excellent coverage on the shot. And the We've got the Utah Jams taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, here's Dunn. Pass to Collins. No one near him. John Collins. And that one, good. Collins does a nice job there preparing for that shot using his base. Stolen by Collins. Oh, and here comes Markinen all alone. Markinen. Traditionally, Assistant. that's how you want to finish John the break, Collins. right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Now, here's Dunn. Outside Cowan. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Smith surveying the D. Abdul Jabbar. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. And just look at the grace, the agility, versatility that Jabbar brings to the center position. Can beat you in so many ways. Here is McLaughlin. Back to Abdul Jabbar. And Kareem throws it down. And not much you can do defensively once Kareem gets the ball in that close. Too much height, too much talent. Collins wide open. He fires. Hits it from three point range. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Inside. Nice bucket inside there by 6-5 forward. Great Smith. And how about the vision there from the big O guys? Beautiful. Pass to Dandridge. Shoots over Clarkson. Dandridge can't make it work. The Trey. And Utah another three. A great idea to get your secondary scores involved early. This helps keep everybody engaged. Yeah, and he's so so from there, but when he's hitting from deep, it's a big confidence builder. And here's Utah Paul. They're on a 14 to 6 run. First person. And there was a whistle. And that's gonna go on Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Into the lineup. That is his first foul of the game. Dick Cunningham. Here's done, and he can't extend the lead to double digits. Here's Allen, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First team, yeah, guys, having contributed to two college championships in Westwood, Allen knows what it takes to win. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Two minutes remaining in the first. And here's done. He'll bring it up for Utah. Seven point differential. And he banks in the layup. Yes, Dunn. And Dunn is spectacular, seeking contact and getting it. He just absorbs the hit, yet still able to finish. Here's Dandridge. Some creativity right there by Oscar Robertson on the assist. Pass to Kessler. Robertson with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Cunningham's got it. Three-pointer. Markinen. It's rebounded by Robertson. Bucks trail by seven. To the middle. A kick out to Abdul Jabbar. Here's Allen. It's deflected. 
And Markin and showing all seven foot of himself there. And Utah and turns it over again. Milwaukee ball. And so it's Milwaukee with it. Out to the right wing. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. The ball goes to Utah. Jazz leading by seven. In the air. And Clarkson with the nice bucket inside. Clarkson's got five. And the strength of Clarkson on display. Awesome job fending off the defense and not letting that deter him from scoring. They worked hard to get this lead. Can't start giving up easy slams all of a sudden. Uh, GA, that's right. And that was easy. Gift wrap for him. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. Clarkson missing again. Three from Robertson. And that comes off the assist by Abdul Jabal. And generally, Robertson's a guy that likes to play free throw line and below, but here's a time where he steps out and launches from beyond. Two on the clock. And Oscar Robertson with the slam. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Who's gonna they've really attacked off of the turnovers, so leaking out and capitalizing on fast break stuff. Sexton's shot is good. Sexton's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Jam. Bucks trail by four. Here's Abdul Jabal. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. And don't let the lean physique fool you. Kareem, with the strength to finish through contact, as well as anybody who's ever played. And really, just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Allen inside. Pass to McLaughlin. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's Horton Tucker. Defended by Abdul Jabbar. Here's Yurtsevin. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. That pass into the paint, that is a work of art there. Dead on target. At the elbow, Smith. Right side, Abdul Jabbar. Utah foul. And you're talking about Utah one of the most Sonic. decorated superstars in the history of college First basketball, but maybe the most impressive feat. He won three Fox. national championships, and Kareem has a way of affecting winning. Jazz leading by three to the paint. Pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Simonich. The three drains it Lucas from beyond the arc. Samana just got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. Outside for George. Oh, good on the three. And here's Abdul Jabbar. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. Pass to McLaughlin. Now here's Robertson. Yurtsevin with the rebound. Yeah, I can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but quite plenty of room. Bucks trailed by six. And here's Robertson outside. Utah. Wow, through the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. Second team foul. The free throw drops for Robertson. Oscar Robertson. He hits the second from the line. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And he can't make it three for three. Pass to Horton Tucker. To the inside. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Good job to recognize the opportunity. This is very solid offense. 
And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. On offense here with the Bucks, trailing by four. Smith right side. Here's McLaughlin. A high arc and rainbow from McLaughlin. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on him. Horton Tucker. Now to Yurtsevin. And beyond the obvious physical skills, Kareem just has a great understanding for the game. He times his moves perfectly to get that shot. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much, guys. Walker Kessler has already made an impact for the Jazz now. Will Hardy says the physical tools that he has allow him to be successful. He's shown so much growth both ends of the floor. I think defense comes natural to Walker in a lot of ways. Kevin? It is another great young player. We enjoy them all. David, thank you. Shoots. Here's Horton Tucker. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Go into the rack with energy in the D, afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defender. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. Back to George. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. I just don't think they want him taking that Over kind of shot seven. again. His teammates are just laughing, shaking their heads there on the bench. And this story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Smith left side. Here's Abdul Jabal. And the layup's good off the glass. Assisted by Greg. And that's 13 point tier for Kareem Abdul Jabal. Nobody near George. George. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Zero defense. You can't let a good shooter have the wide open three. Down low. Here's Smith. A basket good off the assist from Allen. Smith's got six points. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist really the key to that entire sequence. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Substitution on the court. I'm shocked he missed that wide open look. He has to feel embarrassed he blew that one. That'll do it for the first. Out to the wing. Here's Dandridge. Back to Robertson. Pass to Dandridge. The baseline jumper goes down. Dandridge has got the first basket of the third quarter for the Bucks. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And that one good from Clarkson. Such a such a tough shot to master there. Clarkson feeling more and more comfortable, it looks like, with that floater. And it's off from three-point range. Jazz leading by six. Here's Markinen. Clarkson outside. Back to Markinen. Six on the shot clock. The 11-footer. Dandridge pulls it in. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Here's Clarkson. Makes it off the glass. And that's now nine points John for Jordan Clarkson. Big man John Collins seeing the court that time. Dandridge. Milwaukee, no good that time either. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you.
lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the in one, and this time, they're not backing off. Uh, that connection with Collins, that's a, an impressive play, and very, very high percentage. Here's Robertson. Kessler with the rebound. Jazz leading by 10. Lobbed up there for Collins. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. Here's McLaughlin. Offensive rebound to the paint. Goes back up. Trying to get something going. Utah foul. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. That one on Collins. First team foul. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. And he can't get the first one. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that. Absolutely. Done attacking. No good that time. Excellent D there from Allen. On the left block, Cunningham's shot is off. Utah leading. And now here comes Collins leading the break. Makes it out to Markinen. Pass to Clarkson. Nailed from three-point land. Jordan Clarkson. Clarkson's got 12 in the game. Clarkson draining one from deep, something he has to continue to work on. Stretch out the floor. For the finish. He's done with the slam. Assisted by. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and, and the other team in scramble mode. Pass to McLaughlin. Kicks it out to Al. Bucks passing it around. A shot by McLaughlin is no good. And that one good Jordan from Clarkson. Clarkson. 14 points for him. Bucks ball oh, time. Great out. ball movement there. It's a 16-point game. Offensive rebound. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Ball. Substitution on the court. 107 left in the third quarter of the game. Looking to end the run. Jones. Missed inside. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Here's Yurtsevin. Over. Yurtsevin. And that one drops for him. Yurtsevin's got 10 points in the game. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. They're going to have to come up with a better matchup. This guy's just too much speed. We've got 33 seconds left in the third quarter. To the right side. And that yes, one's Sonic. good. Zamanich. Assisted. Uh, assists like Over. that have simplified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Jones, no luck. Utah leading by 18. Courtney Tucker, that's good. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Pass to Dandridge. Back to Davis. Out to Miller. Launches a three. And so it's the Utah Jam. It's more of the same from the first three quarters. So it's the Jazz now. They lead by 20. It's the most we've seen. And it's George missing. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. I do so enjoy watching a bounce pass executed that perfectly. The ball goes to Utah. Well, somehow they kept possession of the ball after that for a pass. Uh, they should be very thankful that was a turnover. The Bucks making a switch here. And it's blocked. It's three on three on the fast break. George fires. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. Nine points from Keontae George. 
and an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Jazz. Great job by this team closing out, blocking a bunch of shots, and just a tremendous effort defensively. Well, another thing that has really stood out is just their effort defensively, active hands, jumping the passing lanes, racking up steals. That's been impressive. Okay, George. George with the bucket. Three points. He's just stretching them out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. I'm not sure what the defense collectively was thinking there. You got to know where he is at all times. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Abdul Jabbar. Unstoppable tonight as he is most nights. Nice. Jabbar has all the offensive tools but it also keeps to a strict fitness regimen that allows him to wear people down. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. Second free throw. No good. At the line for the Jazz. Lucas Summoning. So he comes up empty, missing both. And with some of the new rooting interest for fans, some concern about potential hostilities for the players when great things don't go their way. There's a lot of variety of the outcome of games and, and stats. Uh, something the league has to take seriously, making sure that players are protected because the emotions can run them. Kicks it out to Robertson. Abdul Jabbar in the post. And the dunk by Abdul Jabbar. Oh, that's a major league. Throw there. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. George, double team. Fires for three. Bangs Lucas home the trifecta. And the Jazz lead by 14. Really in a good position, thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Smith. Jared Smith with the good. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Now to the hoop. Greg Smith and then with Smith the with the dunk. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. You have to be careful with the ball, and this is what happens. From Oscar Robertson. Jazz leading by eight. Right wing. Back to George. The Jazz working the ball around now. Off to Simonich. Over Smith. Used the shot fake to create the angle, but couldn't get it to fall. Here's McLaughlin. The second effort. Dandridge's shot is good. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. To the left side wing. Here's Zimanic. Lucas. A shot's good on the assist by George. Zimanic has got six points in the quarter. And perimeter score feats. I have to imagine a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more face and ball movement to get guys open. Milwaukee foul. Part of what makes Clarkson a threat on every possession. He can do it inside, outside, anywhere on the floor. And both free throws good for Clarkson. Bucks trail by 11. Inside. Abdul Jabbar. Abdul Jabbar the slam. And Abdul Jabbar throws it to him. The rim to get some true hang time. You know, he just wanted to make sure the landing was softer than the takeoff. Ball is turned up. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. Dandridge can't make it work. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but it doesn't seem like he lost his confidence. He's still letting them rip. And an intentional foul right there. And this could be the old hack a shack strategy here. We're we'll seeing this more and more in the.
a poor free throw shooter come through at the line. And so it's Milwaukee with it. They trail by 11. A shot missing. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for Utah. So they foul intentionally. Very personal foul. You know, give them credit in the for still battling here down the stretch, but I Shooting think it's too little too late. John Collins. Watch Collins night in and night out when he's fully engaged. There's some ferocity behind his play. Well, he got the important one to go. Their lead should be safe now. Stolen by Collins. Pass break. Here we go. And that's an intentional that's foul. foul. Dick Cunningham. First personal foul. The first free throw is good. And seven shooting feet. Really good at shooting the basketball. A decent handle. Lori Markinen starts to tinker on that unicorn category. And the Bucks with possession. It's a 14-point game. Seven-second difference. Shot and game clock. Dandridge can't make it work. The Jazz on offense. Big stretch here going 10 2. Lowry Markinen. Knocks down the three ball. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Here's the three. That one doesn't drop. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. That's the this one was over.